This is Nicole. It's um, nice to see you here in my live stream chat. It's um, probably the fourth time I'm doing something live. And of course, it would be just nicer to have you in front of me. But um, in this Corona time, it's a little bit difficult. So I hope you enjoy this little live stream. It's on every Tuesday, 5.30 I did it. Now I stop it with this one. And from time to time, I will update some, some uh, live uh, stream videos to different topics. How do I clean my saxophone under control? You know, so... I play this uh, little nice, wonderful saxophone, Golden with Silver Claps, um, by Dan Selmer, 64. Same reeds, which I'm using, I'm endorsed by the Dario Woodwinds, uh, that they called Rico Royale before, and now they changed the piece. It's a jazzy mouthpiece. If you play classical music, um, I would propose you I would suggest you do uh, to to use and use definitely Meyer and ligature is as well Selma I'm very happy with this equipment and I play this equipment like the same stuff not the same read Ebony the reads of the same company since yeah 20 years <laughs> also 20 years everything is 20 years this year and I perform on stage 25 years <laughs> so perform on stage 25 years <laughs> so I thought for this regularly uh, live stream tuesday live streams that i um make a little talk of the corona and um what can you do with your saxophone if you are alone if you want to play it's kind of uh, improvisation and um a part of it a part of it that you can play by yourself in your bathroom in your living room in your bedroom, whatever, for your partner or just for yourself, just to have like five minutes daily, a daily uh, a play for yourself without anybody else, nobody judging you, just yourself and uh, with fun, of course. So I'm playing a little for you and then uh, I change over to some advices. Okay. So I'm playing advices. Okay. <laughs> I figured out I really love to play my saxophone without anybody, just myself in the, for example, in the bathroom because there's a, a nice reverb. Or actually, I'm playing most the saxophone in my bunker. Also, there is nobody. And the uh, bunker are the, you know what I mean? There's a, uh, with these huge doors and actually nobody can get in uh, except you have the key for it. And then, um, I'm playing there because I can be very loud, I can be very soft, and nobody is disturbed by that. So thank you for my neighbors right now. I'm <laughs> at home playing the saxophone. So um, in the way to my bunker, there is a nice reverby room. And always when I go there, I play by myself. But mo many people um, are beginners, are advanced beginners, and they don't know what to play then, you know. That's a, a, a big, a huge topic, actually. What to play if you don't have sheets in front of you, if you don't have a paper with some notes on you. So I would say you just go there and um, you take, for example, two scales. For example, a C major scale and a D major scale. C major, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And the D major scale is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And then you start to mix them. Yeah? For example, I'm playing in the C 
uh, in the sea. Uh, and then yeah, I go over, if I want to mix it, if I want to be more free in playing. Um, I, I think I could go more than only the C major scale. So I take the D major scale with me. So I'm checking first, I'm able to play the C, D major scale. Let's check it out. Okay, this will be the D major scale. Okay, that works. So, for example, if you play by yourself, at home and you don't know what to play and instead of playing always the scales ups and downs and then you could make like two two scales yeah so let's start it i start with a c going over i cue you to go over to the d major scale and then i go back again to the c major scale <laughs> step more I would say okay now I will take the E major scale as well with me and in the E major scale we have E F sharp G sharp A B C sharp and D sharp and the E okay so let me play first the E major scale for you <laughs> okay that works so now I mix C D E D, C. That's the way how, how you can improvise freely for yourself when you train before you playing the band. Playing first of all in, in different scales to be sure, hey, in my head there are the major scales, not in my head, in my whole body. I don't have to think anymore about it. So um, that's a good way to make... Uh, many of you are... Uh, fixed on reading the sheets in front of you, the paper. I totally can understand because in the music school you are my times. It doesn't matter. Music is so helpful for the soul. And um, in these times, it's so nice to play the saxophone as well freely. And as, actually, not only in these times, like tuned, and she loves to play freely. And she's um, 70, around 70, 72, 73, she has in between more saxophones than me. And always when I visit her, she loves my notes, but she loves to pray freely. That's, that's her passion where she can move into another world. And that's the nice thing on music. Everybody, everybody. So let me mix now. C, D, E. And hi, I and Sim. Nice you're shaking with your hand. <laughs> okay. So now we have the C, D, and E, and I make all the Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I make that uh, C D E D C, and uh, in between I'm doing this. So this is a technique which is called beatbox te technique, beatbox technique, or technique. And I love to do it because you can do a lot of crazy stuff with the speaks beatbox. Not in a not really good in a reverbish room, but if you have dry room, play the saxophone a percussive way. So actually, um, yeah, I hope I could give you like a little advice to play a saxophone a solo, which is not only in one key, which is more like taking now three keys. And let's get back uh, quick to the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is very important, like taking now three keys. And let's get back uh, quick to the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is very important daily, every two days, every three days, every four days. Make sure you plan the chromatic scale, like. Yeah, that make sure that you uh, always practice this as well because it's good for playing jazz, it's good for playing your saxophone, right? And all what we want to do always when we practice, what is it about? Why do we practice? We want to so to our saxophone. We want to get closer to what is possible to get out of the saxophone. And um, yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> Learning, practicing, you are never bored to play the saxophone. That's, that's actually the nice thing. I'm playing the saxophone since 25 years and I'm never bored. Yeah. Cool. Um, nice, you have been here with me. Um, of course, I have a little paper for you. And uh, because I always forget the stuff to mention, but it's important for us artists and to connect to each other. So, um, can you see this? Okay. Here, you can subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe my YouTube. This is my website, nicoleyuentgen.com. Check it out. Then I have Bandcamp where you can get my music. I have a solo CD, and the solo CD looks like this. All is self-made. I was in a church and um, played music, very deep music, and um, yeah, you have to listen to it. And then this, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for checking out my YouTube uh, live videos. and. Um, And the, when I'm doing the next one, the next one could be about how to clean my mouth. Yes. So I wish you all a good time. I wish that you stay healthy and that you some tricks on the saxophone. I want to um, show you some songs on the saxophone. And so I give online lessons. And of course, you get every tutorial for free on YouTube. But the personal contact is so important. And um, if you're sitting in USA or in Mexico or in Australia, this is a good way via internet to stay connected to each other. So, a little song for you, and then I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,